Hey guys, today we are at the beautiful Lac Lejeune Provincial Park and we're going to show you everything this park has to offer. Yeah, it looks amazing. Mel actually saw two moose on the way here from the highway, so we're really hoping to see some wildlife. Let's check it out. Lac Lejeune Provincial Park is located just south of Kamloops, BC. It's about a three and a half hour drive from Vancouver, BC. And sorry, we weren't fast enough with the camera to get a shot of those moose, but I can tell you it was epic. It was this beautiful creek with tall grasses around it. And all I saw was their heads as they dropped down into the creek and then their whole body heaved themselves out of the creek up into the grassy knoll and they just kind of walked along. It was so cute. They were amazing. And I saw all of that in like a couple of split seconds on the highway. That's some pretty good storytelling. <laughs> We've just arrived at Lac Lejeune, getting set up. Hi. <laughs> and uh, as you can see here, Benny is, how are you doing? Desperate to get out of his carrier. So we're just gonna set up real quick. Mel's favorite job is extending the feet. <laughs> They're looking a little rusty. We might have to treat them or do something. One thing before coming here that I would definitely recommend is checking the map online on the BC Parks website. We have looked around the park at the different huts and stuff. We can't actually find a map of the campground. So definitely check that out before you come. Things to do here include, there's naturalist programs and I believe they run from June through August. Uh, fishing, swimming, hiking, cycling, horseshoe pits, and then some of the nearby things, Kamloops, the city of Kamloops is I think about 20 minute drive away from here. There's golf courses, there's paddle wheel, boat rides, like tons of stuff all around Kamloops and all around the area. Well they just cut the grass so that's really nice. <laughs> but I tell you it's a little bit windy and a little bit chilly. Yeah. We're just gonna check out the dock. Oh wow, that is cold. I didn't bring my sweatshirt because I was worried that, you know, going on a hike I would be too hot, but uh, I kind of wish I had it now. It's uh, a brisk wind coming off the lake. Very brisk. I think you can see the bottom here. It's not like super deep. It looks kind of grassy. And there's the swimming area. Uh, it's a really nice day use area, like the grass, there's lots of grass, lots of picnic tables, a swim area, a fishing dock, a couple barbecues. A lot of the picnic tables have barbecue stands and lots of parking, so like, and there's bathrooms. So this is like a really, really nice day use area. You're cold. Look at what you're wearing versus what I'm wearing. Oh, I'm you. actually cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it looks like they've got a nice amphitheater. I wonder if people see this sign and they're like, oh good, they have Wi-Fi. <laughs> nope. And I think I read that they run interpretive programs from June through August. They've got a playground if you've got kids. It looks like a rock wall or some kind. Pint-sized rock wall. And they've also got a Santa station that we'll use tomorrow. Note there is a $5 fee that you must pay at the ticket dispenser. Oh man, do we have enough coins? Oh, I don't know. We need $5 worth of coins. So be prepared with $5 worth of coins for the ticket dispenser. So this is something new that we haven't seen in any other park. They actually have a dog use area right on the water, which I think is kind of nice because yeah. otherwise you have, you know, all these no dog signs and nowhere that you can actually take your dog and people just do it anyway. Mm -hmm. So this way there's a designated area. Works out better. So our favorite sites, we have scoped out all of the sites and we're going to tell you all the best ones right now. The best double site in our opinion is sites number 1516 and the reason why we like that one so much is you can put the two campers like end to end both facing out to the lake and it's got like that lake access like right across the road. 
So these sites are one up from the ones that are just along the lake called Whiskey Jack Lane. Sites number 109 to 144. They're a little bit treed in, not great views, but they're pretty spacious and they have nice separation between the sites. So we are staying on Waxwing Lane. Campsites number 86 to 108. We are on number 95 and it's really nice. All of the sites along here, we call this like the site, the row with like the views. Um, site number 32 we just passed has a pretty decent view. Site number 108 is the one with the best view in the entire park. You can see the lake, you can see the mountains on the other side of the lake, but they're more like hills. Site number 106, that also has an awesome view. The road that we're on, Waxwing Road, has the sites with all the good views. If you don't have to be too close to the lake, I don't know, maybe you didn't bring a boat with you, then come up to this level. How's it that the garbage and recycling have like the best view in the park? Come on, who planned that? If you have kids and you want a playground, 98 and 99, they back right on to the playground and the outhouses are right there. So it's all, it's like super like family central. If you're not in need of a double site though, go with 97, cause that also backs right on. So you can still keep a really close eye on your kids. I think this is one of the least level sites we've been on in a BC provincial park. I don't know if you can see, but look at how low the front of the trailer looks. <laughs> I mean, the front stabilizers are barely even extended, so. It's quite a hill going down, but uh, you know, still made it work. So if you go left from the day use area, then there's a nice little trail that goes around the lake. Yeah. I actually see there's a, it looks like a covered picnic table area or something up top too. We're not sure if it's maybe for like interpretive programs. Anyways, we're gonna start we're gonna moving the trail. and uh, go quickly. So we generate a bit of heat. It's a little chilly. And windy. Let's check out this trail. This part of the path is nice and calm and sheltered from the wind, so I am liking it. Right now it is my perfect temperature with no wind. Is it yours? Mm, as you can tell, I'm still in my sweater, so probably not. But I'm, I'm much happier that the wind has stopped. I think I just saw, oh, there's a fish that just jumped. Cool. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, another one. Like all in the same spot, see them? Oh, yeah. They're not doing it anymore. Oh, they're right here. I don't see it anymore, they stopped. Wildlife is not cooperating. Almost got some jumping fish. Yeah, sorry, distracted. Squirrel! Oh yeah, so the day use area is, look, the water looks kind of rough right now because it's pretty windy and it's very open. But this is like a super little protective little cove that we've just found off the trail. And it's got like a little grassy knoll. I'm gonna feel the water temperature. I'm just gonna give Mel a little pat from the back. It's cold. I don't think it's as cold as... The one in Monk Park? Yeah, the Nicola lake. lake. Yeah. Mel's got a butterfly on her foot. I don't think I've ever had a butterfly land on me before. It's like something I've always wanted, but never has happened. And now it's finally happened. And so he's been sitting here for a couple minutes now. I feel like I'm gonna spoil this by trying to get it to go onto my hand, but I'm gonna try anyway. <laughs> yep, <laughs> just as I thought. That's okay, I needed to move on anyways. We have a hike to continue. to a point 
um, to the edge, outer edge of the provincial park, and we've reached some private property. Now, what we could do is continue to follow the trail, but it goes all the way like up into the hills and pretty far away from the lake because um, there's some natural protected areas around immediately around the lake. We just passed a couple of other hikers who said that friends of theirs did the big circle yesterday and he said it was seven and a half miles not kilometers so it took them about two and a half to three hours which we're not quite prepared to do right now so we're going to turn back but just so you know, if you happen to come and visit, apparently it's a really nice trail. It's not too hard. It's fairly flat. <gasps> oh my gosh, you could see moose on this trail. Oh, that's really tempting. It says it takes about three hours at a brisk walk. You know, so the sign here is actually very helpful. One kind of strange thing about our visit here is we have not seen a single site operator since we arrived here at yesterday, 11 a.m and now it's eight or so the next day. So that's pretty unusual for a large provincial park. You might see that at a rec site sometimes, but uh, yeah, so we're hoping we're gonna see them uh, before we leave. We are all hitched up and ready to head out from Lac Lejeune Provincial Park. Yes, we really liked the park. It's really nice. We wish we could have stayed longer, but we've got other parks to check out and review for you. So off we go. Absolutely. And if you enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate if you could give us a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And in the meantime, keep, keep on, on living, living the life you've, you've imagined. imagined. So we're just heading out of Lac Lejeune Provincial Park and we didn't see a single operator the entire time. So since we were staying first come first serve, we weren't able to pay. So we sent an email to BC Parks and we're gonna see what they say about a situation like that. But I don't know, have you ever run into that before? I feel like that's more common on the rec sites, but at a large provincial park like this, it seems a bit unusual. I don't know. This may or may not be your experience. We'll let you know what BC Park says. Did you want me to say more? I thought you were going to say something about like the forest. You can find out about it for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Third time's charm. And we're going to find out what we can find out for you. That's terrible. <laughs> what? <laughs> so it looks like a. Oh, as he steps in a gopher hole. <laughs> How is it that the. Uh, the, the. Anyways. Just uh, sharing that little bit. Anything to say?